Hey guys, I hope you're all well and a bit of a late happy new year. Um, I wanted to do a what I've been getting up to, what I've been loving video because obviously last year I did some vlogs but it's been ages since I've sat down and had a little catch up and just chatted about some things and like what I've been enjoying. I really miss doing monthly favourites as well so it's going to be that sort of, that sort of vibe like mixed in with yeah what I've been getting up to. I've got so many clips from last month that um like there's things that I've vlogged but I didn't get around to putting them all together into a, a like into more vlogmas videos. I want to add in some of those things in this video because I've got some really lovely clips that I still want to share and put on my channel. Actually before Christmas I went to go and get my hair done at Dyson on Oxford Street it, which is like it's not far from Selfridges it's the other side of the road and um I didn't even realise they had a, a store there, so it was really nice to go and experience it. I took some clips when I was there, so I'll insert them. Um, but yeah, the downstairs has all the products, but upstairs they have a salon. It's really beautiful, it's so stylish, um, and the staff are really lovely. I sat and had my hair uh, blow-dried with their air wrap. I love the results, I put it on my Instagram. I actually forgot to get um, like an ending shot of my hair, because I was... I think I was like just dashing out and I forgot to do it, but I got to take away my own Dyson as well. And I have been, it's really been my main obsession product wise since, since then, since December. Um, so I want, I have to include this. I love this and I love it for my natural hair as well because there's different attachments. So like I use one of the other combs for when I'm drying my natural hair and it gives it an amazing blowout. And then I love it for styling my wigs or like other hair that I'm wearing as well uh, with this barrel with the big curl one like I've used it well I've used it on my hair but I've obviously, obviously got my hair up today um it just gives the most beautiful finish and it's really I just haven't touched my other styling tools <laughs> since using this I can see why there's such a big big hype around them so next I had Indy's birthday and we did like a little in the house birthday we wanted a print Disney princess there for her and she requested Rapunzel so we had that and like had some of her friends there and everything it was just really really lovely and I find that her birthday's on quite a stressful time of year because it's just before Christmas day but I feel like we pulled it off <laughs> we pulled it off and then i took her to go and see on ice i booked it like months before and um just me and her went together and it was really nice i think unless you're really really close to the stage and it's an ice skating performance like i just we couldn't really see that much and like for the price the tickets are i would say if you're gonna go i'd say try to get like right near the front because usually I'm always like, oh, it doesn't really matter where you're sitting exactly, but yeah, for this I think you need it. It was a really nice bonding day for us. On to this month, I've been trying to sort of get myself together. You know, like obviously January, you're, you know, it's a whole new fresh start and I've tried to be like, right, this is what my aims are for this year. These are my goals. This is what I want to do less of. Trying to, you know, and trying to sort of, I don't know, just improve like mind, body, soul and everything. So that's sort of where my head has tried to be. Back in the gym, feeling much better like health wise. I've been cooking a lot more as well this month. I've been really enjoying getting back into that. I've been trying to teach myself <laughs> some more Caribbean dishes. Um, like I tried to make curry goat. It didn't work, didn't work, but it's okay. It was my first time. I need a few more runs, practice runs. So. Yeah, try to cook curry go. I really want to get some more um, recipes down. Also been watching more films than usual as well. Like I think for a while last year I didn't, I wasn't really watching films. I don't know if it's because it was summer and I was just out and about a lot. Um, but yeah, I've been watching quite a, few, quite a few horrors. But then also, if you guys remember last month, I was talking about some films that I'd watched on Sky. So I'm still doing that this year. So it's like I get some film choices each month for like what one I want to watch and sort of review, give my thoughts on. So for this month I watched The Estate on Sky, so I'll put the clip in now from my thoughts after I watched that. So sorry Maisie, I missed the meeting. Yes, of course you missed it, you're an hour late. I just sat down to watch The Estate on Sky. Um, it's a film that's on Sky Cinema and um, you guys might remember me watching some films in December as well. The last one I watched was The Amazing Maurice. Um, yeah, so this one is very different to those ones. At the moment with Sky, I'm gonna be reviewing some films each month, so I'm really excited about it. Um, so this is the first one for this month. There are a few films for me to choose from, but I was really drawn towards this one because I love Toni Collette. I feel like she has really interesting 
film choices that she does. So I really wanted to give this a watch as well. So it's a comedy, it's kind of like a dark comedy. It's like funny, it's kind of like shockingly funny sometimes because of the theme of comedy that it is, because it's kind of around their dying aunt. It's about these two sisters who are having money troubles themselves. They find out their aunt is like on her deathbed. <laughs> so they go to the aunts and try to sort of win her over um, to get part of her estate. It's a good one to watch to sort of help with the January blues. I don't often watch that many comedies, but this was very entertaining and I laughed out loud a lot of times. Uh, the characters are all really sort of interesting and entertaining as well. That, I don't think there's actually a character in it that I didn't like. Um, they're all funny in their own way. You know how there's always a way that you can relate to films as well? I feel like with this one, it's that kind of dysfunctional family sort of vibe um so that's something that i feel like i can definitely i feel like a lot of us can relate to that right but i feel like i can definitely relate to that not in the theme of <laughs> what this is about but uh you know when there's like sort of there can be like weird tensions and things like that definitely something fun to watch this weekend like after a long week as well it was just nice to sit down and just sort of be like have a laugh be entertained also the sister is played by anna faris who was in so many films growing up, like so, in so many good comedies growing up, like she was in Scary Movie, she's been in loads of stuff, I can't even remember now, but things in like the 2000s. So it was, it's kind of also nostalgic with her being in this film because the, the like style of comedy reminds me a lot of those kinds of films. If any of you have seen it, let me know what you thought of it as well down below. I love like getting other people's opinions and everything. And um, I'll be doing another review on another film soon. Oh, and also please let me know if there's any films that you would like me to watch and chat about. Cause you know how I was saying in my, some of my last vlogs about doing a sort of film club. I'd love to do that. It would just be fun. Last week I had a really busy week. I felt like I was just everywhere. I went to the All Saints Autumn Winter show, catwalk show, um, which was really nice. I really enjoyed it. It was in Spitalfields. I really enjoyed seeing what they had coming up and also trend spotting. Um, I don't know if you guys might have seen, but on my TikTok, I've, I did a trend predictions for this year and I really enjoyed putting that together. Um, please let me know down below if you'd like me to do a trend predictions on my YouTube um, and also I could do a styling those trends video. They had a lot of houndstooth, silver, um, what else? Silk? No, lace, sorry. Oh, saw some peplum. I really don't want peplum to come back, honestly. Last week, I also went to um, a boxing class with Kiehl's and that was so fun. I really enjoyed it. It was at a place called Jab in Mayfair. I really want to go back there. Uh, it was really intense, but I love that because like I love going to the gym and doing workout classes anyway. So I'd rather it be intense than be like a half-hearted, you know, exercise class. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in boxing or like if you're look, trying to find a good boxing class in London, I'd definitely recommend it. It was for their new barrier cream that they have out. And I tried it just after the class. I actually had to step out of the class early <laughs> because I like, um, I pulled my collarbone. <laughs> So I stepped out early, went to have a shower and everything. Then as they had the cream everywhere, so I used it then and it, it was really nice on a first try. So it's supposed to be good for redness if you suffer from that. Um, and I think also just a literal barrier to protect your skin from all the toxins in the environment. And everything I've talked about, I'll link down below as well. I think that's most of the things that I've been getting up to. So there's these two hair products. So right, since I've been using the Dyson Air app quite a lot, I've also been like, using some um, new hair products and these two, I've really wanted to talk about these two. So this is the, okay, so everyone's seen that. Ah! Everyone has probably seen this by now, right? It went like viral everywhere after Kim Kardashian's hairstylist uses it, etc. But uh, the Color Wow Dream Coat, magically transforms texture humidity proofing powers. I find it's worked really well because my hair has been really nice and sleek um, since I've been using it. And then also, also this, I'm so glad I've um, discovered this product. So it's the L'Oreal Metal Detox Oil. I use it when my hair's towel dried before styling, um, but you can use it at the end as well to finish your hair and give it a little gloss. And this lasts for so long like I, 
sometimes you don't know what to what to expect with an oil you know don't know if it's going to like weigh your hair down a bit if you're even going to see a difference this i definitely definitely saw a difference i used it first last week and the effects of it lasted for days my hair was just like really shiny um it kind of felt lighter as well weirdly it just gave it that sort of glossy look and feel so it's sort of hard i don't know if it's the two combined if it's more one or the other if it's what if it's more one of them i'd say it's the oil and a restaurant that i'd say to check out if you're in west london because it's um in the high street kensington area is jacuzzi it's a big mama restaurant so i think they also own like gloria glorias in shoreditch and quite a few others and they have like you know obviously restaurants all around the world so beautiful it's italian food uh and it's just it, when you go in there it kind of feels like you're stepping into a different time zone or something it's very decadent aesthetically <laughs> it just has so much character in there it makes you feel a bit like you're on holiday or something when you're inside i'll put some clips so you can sort of see what i mean um and then the food was really good as well my favorite that we had was the um we had this like truffle carbonara pasta oh my god it's like one of my favorite dishes ever so i really enjoyed that and then also the cocktails are really good um i need to go back to try more <laughs> um but my favorite was the their version of the espresso martini because it had a bit of chocolate in it um mm, it was so good this year i really want to uh try out more restaurants in london and share my thoughts and things as well i'm going to be posting like a come with me to jacuzzi on my tiktok so check out my tiktok that's why i really like doing come with me's and i do a little talk over i feel like it works better there than on instagram so follow me on tiktok for more of that that's it and oh in case you guys wondered my top is from bershka my necklace i think it's zara i think it's zara but quite a while ago um and yeah, I went back to natural nails too. I'm just, I got a bit bored of the long nails. So anyways, hope you guys are really, really well. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.